All right, guys, welcome back. Going into the final 30 minutes or so of uh, Swan Song here. Adam, please tell us all about Heather. Okay, so you're in a bar on a uh, tax station on uh, TV four three TVL 434, and uh, it's loud as hell, and unlike the rest of the station, there's actually people here. There's, like, a good, like, dozen people um, in this, like, little, like, again, like, cargo container, so maybe, you know, four meters long and, like, two meters wide um but it's dark there's like a bar at the far end of it um there's neon on the walls there's music playing through these like heavy speakers and uh yeah just kind of like pounding away and when you come in um this is where this is where like heather uh said she would be so you can you can meet her here um there's maybe a dozen people here right now uh in kind of like small groups um okay uh, I approach every female in the bar and I'm just like, "Hey, Heather, how's it going?" <laughs> okay. All right. Well, after the first, after the first one or two, you kind of like hone in on the person you were looking for. Uh, <laughs> Piani, I mean, Piani, you knew uh, who they, they were looking for from the beginning, right? Because you looked it up. You right. Know who this person is. But I, I wanted to just relish in the humiliation of, of uh, Higgins doing that. So. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, yeah, eventually you get to, you find a table where there's this, um, uh, this woman sitting with a, uh, kind of like a rough looking dude with a, a beard, uh, and they're, they're talking when you come up and she, before you even get a chance to say like, Heather, uh, she looks and, and recognizes you, Higgs. Um, what, uh, what name, um, yeah, what name are you, uh, are you, you, you going to use with her? Like what name would she know you by if not Higgs? Uh, Hold on a sec. I gotta take through the <laughs> the the, the, uh, the name list, and I also do this like I'm doing this in scene where I'm just like I take a long uh, breath and I'm just like, oh. <laughs> and then I say uh, I turn to Piani and I'm just like, the name's Jebediah. <laughs> Call okay. me Jeb. So that's what Heather says. She's like, "Oh, Jeb, it's so good to see you." And she like gets up and hey, like, how's it going, over. Heather? throws your her arms around you um yeah so heather is uh yeah she's in her like mid mid to late 30s um like a spacer through and through like she's got the the jumpsuit uh she's she's uh she's older than like looks older than her age because she's you know been out in space kind of living on the rough edges of the galaxy for a while um but yeah seems like like legitimately excited to see higgs and like throws her arms around she's like well, why don't why don't y'all come have a drink with me and like gestures to the table? She's like, "There's plenty of space." And hey, if there ain't, gra grab another table. There's there's nobody important in here. Uh, and, all right. Uh, she's, she's like, "Jeb, introduce your friends to me. What, uh, what's going on? I haven't seen you in ages." Well, and, like for you, just like mental blank. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm just like, yep, yep. <laughs> yeah. It was it was you know it it was terrible how it uh, the last time I saw you, but it's it's good to see you again. This is uh, so she, yeah. She looks when you say that she looks at you. She's like terrible. <laughs> You kidding me? And she like punches you in the arm. She's like, "That's the best score we ever had." Plus everything that happened after. And she looks at her at like your friends and is like, "Yeah, we don't need to talk about that." Yep, that's that's uh, okay. God, what what <laughs> job? <laughs> Anyways, uh, this is okay. Uh, this right here is my my personal uh, guard. This is uh, M Mr. S. He's he's a good guy. He's uh, my friend now. This is my uh, my wife, Piani Pick, uh, right here. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, anyway, how do you react to that? Fucking hell. <laughs> You're me, I, bud. That, you know that, like, sort of, I'm going to fucking kill you later <laughs> look that Piani often has on her face? It's pretty much that. That wives often give their husbands. <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, so you're playing yeah. into the game. Okay, yeah. yeah. And then, and, then I'm, and uh, this is uh, is our business manager, uh, Prosper. Um, True is his last name. Pro Prosper True. I reach out to to shake her hand. She she puts her hand out like. Oh yeah, oh, so I grab enchanté. it and I say, <laughs> I say, enchanté, mademoiselle. Yeah, she laughs. She's a little like a little tipsy. You can tell the the bearded guy is kind of just sitting at the table scowling. Mm -hmm. uh, be be careful with that one, uh, Heather. It he he can be a little fatherly sometimes. It's kind of weird. It's just weird. Just I'm letting you know. <laughs> Anyways, uh, Heather, you said he had yes. a job uh, for old Jeb. What, Fatherly, baby girl. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Prosper. <laughs> <laughs> this, it's Odette Rainier all over again. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs>
So uh, she's like, oh, we, we, we can talk business later. Let's let's get caught up. And she, uh, yeah, she gets you to sit down, like orders drinks for everybody. And it's this weird, like watery kind of like really artificial tasting, like, you know, condensed out of like uh, illegal stills, like booze. It tastes terrible, but, you know, whatever. It's what everybody's drinking. Okay. Um, and she, uh, yeah, she like lights a cigarette and. Uh, over the pounding of the music, and again, uh, like you, you can hear this like kind of high pitched, sort of uh, it's all in Mandarin, like high pitched woman, like vocal, uh, and it keeps like the name like uh, Nika Starlight keeps coming up, and you keep getting like ads about her, and like Piani, you you can hear it, like her tour and music is getting promoted really hard, and like that's all that's playing in here right now, um, and. Uh, yeah, so she she kind of gets you caught up on what she's been doing. She tells you a bunch of stories that have like next to no context for you. She keeps referring to people that occasionally you recognize, but yeah, I, I still, just like, I just, just play like it off. Note. Yeah, yeah, I do my best. If I if I get the idea that she's attached to a person, I'm just like, oh yeah, how's how's so and so doing, or blah blah blah, using the same name okay. she's used the entire time. Nice. Yeah, I mean, this is a thing that you know you know how to do. Um, and uh, yeah, why don't you why don't you make a uh, let's make a persuade uh, persuade check? Okay. See how uh, that story that story goes over. If anybody else wants to help, anyone who has persuade wants to like, you know, try to keep things friendly, whatever you're welcome to do so. Anyone else want to roll? Prosper uh, is not a persuasive man. I, no. I do. Uh, I recognize the situation, and I try to do my plastic smile and. <laughs> I mean, I'm wearing my visor, so it's not. I'm not smiling, but I'll I'll add things like, "Yes, I too would like to know how that person is doing." Yeah. <laughs> so every now and then I'll throw to. It's to like Mr. talking S. to a friendly Terminator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'll roll to see if I can help him. Okay. I don't have persuade, which is what this is, right? Yeah. So you just roll yeah, with so charisma. I'm at minus or charisma. I'm at zero for all that stuff. Yeah, it's minus one if you don't have the skill. So it'll just be two d six. Okay. Points. Eight. Okay, nice. Yeah, you do help. Nice. Ten. Excellent. Didn't need it. She, well, yeah, like, it's an eleven, so she just, like, she just buys in. No, no, it, that's, uh, just, like, that's already plus three, so it's Oh, 10. it's with the plus three. Okay, yeah, cool. Yeah. yeah, ten, yeah, it's fine. Like, she, yeah, she completely buys whatever bullshit. Like, she's, you get the impression, and, and this is a thing that maybe, maybe Sicarian, you notice this more than Higgs does, there's an edge of desperation to it. Like, she wants to believe there's a friend on the station, where she's like, okay. Oh, thank God this guy is here. And, like, maybe some level of her psyche is like, wait a second, he doesn't remember, like, Joe John? Well, shit, we were like, it was a big deal. Like, how does he not remember this guy? I but personally also calm to Higgs then and say, there's an air of desperation to her, so you can treat you, that you as you You text would. it to me? Yeah. Send me a text? Well, I just calm. I, I can internal comms to you. I got my visor up and stuff. Yeah, like, Higgs, oh, okay. <laughs> but Higgs, Higgs doesn't have, like, a earpiece or anything, like. Then I text it to him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. So when when there's uh, when there's like sort of an opportunity, um, okay. if Piani can make some eye contact with Heather and kind of shrug her off to the side to maybe have a private conversation. Okay. Yeah. Uh, sure. I think that she she'll she's like uh, at some point she gets up and is like, uh, I gotta I gotta go powder my nose. Uh, looks at you. Piani's like, you you want to join me, honey? And I just nod and, and go out. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so the two of you head off to uh, to the back where there's, like, a, an entrance to the, the, like, washrooms. Sure. As they leave, I my, like, my, you know, posture turns to the bearded man. And there's, like, a momentary pause as I go, So, friend, what is your story? You look like you've been around the places. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. All right. So he he just gestures to himself. And he's like, "I am Igor. I work on station." That's it. Ha ha ha! <laughs> that sounds awesome. How do you know the the missus? <laughs> he's like he's like we met in garage. I fixed ship. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> and then I like I text to uh, I text Mr. Higgs forget him <laughs> so you say that you text to higgs and you look up and you notice like he reaches up and he like wipes his like 
canine tooth, and you notice like a blue smudge on his finger. Uh, and then, <laughs> Do uh, I, am and I then, right there next to this? Yeah, you, I just you go. Oh, for too. fucking god's <laughs> shit! So I, and then and then uh, I look at him, and I become like rigidly stoically still. And I he say, doesn't uh, notice because you're still like visor down. Right. I'm just looking at him. And it, I say. Um, what can you tell me of the space station in terms of perhaps recreational drugs that they use here? <laughs> he laughs. He's like, you talk funny, like a police officer. <laughs> <laughs> no but shit, you... <laughs> Igor. Good call, brother. Good call. <laughs> tell me about the fucking drugs. Mr. You're Nessie powdering your nose. You shut your face. <laughs> yeah, he says, yeah, you talk funny, like police officer. You want drugs? Yeah, don't ask Igor. Igor does not know anything about drugs. And while while he's saying that, he's like fumbling around in his like utility vest looking for something. And I I, can't, I kind of keep looking at him. And okay. I just nothing else, I guess. So in the meantime, uh, in the facilities, uh, Heather and uh, and Piani have a moment alone. So she's in front of the mirror and she's like puffing up her. She's got like um uh, like a hillbilly kind of bouffant and like a mullet. Um, so she's like adjusting her, her bouffant, like kind of coming sure. at it. So like she's, mm-hmm. she's in, she's in the mirror and I mean, up to this point, like she hasn't really heard a word out of Piani and mm-hmm. all of a sudden she just hears Heather. <laughs> now I don't know what kind of gig you are trying to play on my husband, Wilbur Higgs. <laughs> But I just need you to know that I do not give a fuck about any of the stuff that happened in the past, but he is my man. And if I see you even taking one look at him, if I think you are having unpure thoughts, I will kill you, bitch. Well, so. you the 12. <laughs> All right, yeah, roll, roll, a, roll a persuade there. All right. Uh, plus one. Uh, with your charisma. Seven. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, so is she... it, I get a plus one for charisma, too? Yeah, well, you, well, you get whatever your charisma is. Yeah. Oh, well, because Ow. my persuade is one. So that's plus okay. two. So eight. Yeah. Eight. All right. So she, she puts her hands, like, palms down on the counter next to the dirty sink, takes a breath, kind of turns her head over to you, and she's like, oh, shit, honey, that day's passed. I don't want that old dog no more. I just got a job. See, I got some cargo on the station. My Two ship. guys think Southern ladies. This is. I know. This is <laughs> <laughs> My ship. She's uh, she's not so good right now. I could I could use some money, but I'm not gonna get that money till I get these parts off the station. And I figure, well, old Jeb, I know he got a ship. He always got a ship. And if he can get the parts off the station, he gets paid. I get paid, and I can get the fuck out of here. Cause I gotta tell you. That planet, the jungle one, all the crystals, I never know go back. That place is dangerous. Honey, what do you need <laughs> us to do? Well, you know what? I, 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 grew, I grew up learning. We, we let the men talk about these things, but I'm going to tell you, it's dangerous. It's a dangerous job, but you seem like a tough lady to me. So here's how it is. Now, I got some mining equipment Ain't Riley in my name. I'm not gonna say I stole it, but maybe it fell off the back of a truck someplace. Anyway, I, I got some buyers for it uh, up in Gunhild System. Uh, so y'all take it up there for me, and you sell it. Uh, you can keep a cut of the profit. I get some of mine. I can fix my ship. And me and, uh, and my new boyfriend and the Taylor Swift. We gonna get the hell out of here. How how much money exactly are you talking, dear? It's like well. I uh, figure your cut probably around 30k. That sound like good money to you? Piani just laughs. She's like, "Girl, <laughs> we may, maybe you don't understand the value of Jebediah and the Swan Song and the crew members, but we're worth a lot more than a measly 30,000 credits. I think maybe if you'd make it, no, oh, say 50,000? We might at least consider it. <laughs> make I could a, talk uh, to my husband. <laughs> make a uh, make a persuade check. 
Okay. Or, or a business check if you have that skill, which I'm sure. I don't. do not. Have. <laughs> I would rather make. All right, so you're gonna persuade check. her on on your charm. Nine. Okay. All right. So, uh, so she's like, oh, 50 seems awful steep, but hell, I like you, girl." And she like, Le "Are you still in your wheelchair?" <laughs> Um, I mean, am I, was I still able to get to I, my, yeah, I think so. Then absolutely. I, All right. So, so I think she's like, oh, hell, I like you girl. And, and besides, I always try to give a little extra for the disabled and she like gives you a big hug. I totally huh. eat that shit up. <laughs> like, well, maybe sometime I'll tell you about my accident. I don't think, <laughs> right. I don't think Jebediah wants to talk about it, but. So she uh, she puts her hand out and she's got her big long red fake nails. Puts her hand out and she's like, "Well, let's shake on it then." But sure enough, yeah. Okay, so you shake her hand. She's like, "Well, hooey, let's go get drunk." And she like wheels you back out into the bar. And and uh, then and then you know as the we return back to the to the bar in, in a very sitcom esque way, I do the whole. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so I talked to Heather in the bathroom, and I need to talk to my husband, Jebediah, for just a second about the job that we are going to take and get paid handsomely for. Pull. As she does this, <laughs> I'm just like, oh, for fuck it. <laughs> just like this. So is Heather... When Heather comes back, she, like, sits down in, in Beardo's lap, and they just immediately start making out. Um, and, uh, yeah, so you're, you're welcome to slip away. Uh, Sakiri and, and, and Prosper, what are you doing? There's things happening around you. Uh, I guess as they go away to talk business, I just sit there and watch them make out. <laughs> <laughs> you see, <laughs> every now and then you have, like, a little fog visor <laughs> just, like, vibe by the front. <laughs> No, he's not aroused by this at all. He's just he's like <laughs> contemplating to get away with killing him, I guess. <laughs> he's making the plan to kill everybody in the room. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Prosper, you're doing uh, what, about, what about you, Prosper? What are you doing? Uh, I think Prospero is enjoying like um, a martini. <laughs> okay. Or whatever passes for a martini on this station, you know. Sure. Yeah, yeah, bath bathtub gin martini. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I figure I'm just sitting at this. I'm sitting at the same table with like uh, Higgs and and Heather, uh, and uh, I guess is Sicarian and the the Beardo sitting at the other table. You're all you're all. It's like one. Yeah. It's basically like two tables that have been shoved together. They're round tables, so you're kind of just around. You're nearby. Yeah, so I'm just you know enjoying the atmosphere, taking it slow, making sure I keep an eye on what's going on around. I mean, you know, it doesn't seem like a terribly threatening situation, right? No. no. <laughs> I mean, that's that's your call, but no. <laughs> yeah. So, okay. I'm relaxing, but, you know, an attentive, relaxed state. Sure. I'm on the okay. clock. So, out uh, out on the uh, on the, the causeway, uh, Piani and... Uh, uh, Higgs? What, what's this conversation look like? So, I mean, I give the, I give the rundown. Um, I tell her that she was going to pay us thirty thousand, and that it that the, that I worked out that we would get paid fifty thousand, and all we have to do is transport some stolen goods. Okay, I'm d I uh, <clears throat> I sit there and just listen attentively. I don't see much, and I just got my I have like my arms at my hips, and I'm just facing the wrong, the op like with back to you, just staring up, and I'm just like. I'm so fucked right now. <laughs> <laughs> I also did it in the southern accent, like I yeah. You told I oh you I, yeah I haven't broke that with you yet. Okay, <laughs> yeah I, I still say the same thing and I'm just kind of like sitting there thinking I don't say much. I'm like, uh, your accent's a little, it's pretty. You got to work on a little bit, but it's it's not. It's a good job, Johnny. Let's go back inside. <laughs> I just go back inside. Honey, you need to work on just being a good husband. So, <laughs> <laughs> least of my worries, the accent. Like yeah, well, you could lose a few pounds too. Go and wear yourself in. <laughs> Just like get back inside. I Jesus. go back to the oh god. The moment I make a note on my compad that the moment I get back to the terminal, I drop his throttling to ten percent. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna, pre I'm gonna predict it right now. Episode Swan Song episode twenty four, a very special wedding episode of Swan Song. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Why the fuck can I not check my email? <laughs> oh, I love you, baby. <laughs> oh boy. All right. So you uh, you, know, you go back into the bar, and uh, by this time, uh, Heather has climbed off of her boyfriend's lap, uh, has ordered a, another round of drinks. So there's drinks all over the table, um, and uh, yeah, and and so looks at you, Higgs, when when, she, when you come back, and is like. Well, shit, Jeb. Looks like the deal's made already. Us women folk, we gotta sort it out. Uh, we're gonna use your ship, get some goods out of the system. You make yourself some credits. Uh, yeah, Heather, can I... Did you... Uh, let's go get a drink real quick. I'll help you bring the uh, the drinks over. We'll go get a round real quick. Join me at the bar. She, she looks at you, she's like, do I hear shots, Jeb? Uh, yeah, okay, yes, you convinced me. Woo! And she, like, gets up and, like, runs off to the bar. <laughs> Yeah, I, I, I kind of just like roll my eyes and jog over to the bar as well. Okay. Uh, All right. And I uh, I place the order for whatever shots. I, I'm like, uh, sh- bar- bartender, can we get? And then I'm like, Heather, what what are we drinking? What are we having? Yeah, she, she orders something. Okay. Like some kind of moonshine. It's like the exact same drink, just in a shot glass. Yeah, it's yeah. totally. It's just the alcohol. <laughs> so now, we've got the one. Adam. Thing. Yes. Prosper, actually, he takes a look around. He walks over to Sakarian and says, Mr. Sakarian, do you think the situation here is under control? Absolutely. I believe I will return to this one song for a moment. Uh, for the first time in like the last 15 minutes, he kind of breaks contact with uh, the bearded guy and kind of looks at you and says, you want to head to the ship by yourself? We. Oui. It is time that I meet the first crew member. Ah, uh, okay. Um... That's what you call masturbation. That's completely fine. <laughs> I knew you would understand, Monsieur Sagarian. Yes. <laughs> so I just, you know, I head on back to the ship. Okay. All right. So at the bar, uh, Heather and uh, yeah, as as we're waiting for the drinks, I'm just like, so uh, Heather, what what was our last job? Do- I'm I'm drunk. I've we've had a lot to drink. What was our job exactly that we we pulled off? What do you remember? So she gets all like up in, in like like up close to you and like puts her hand on your chest. She's like, "Oh, honey, you, if you need me to remind you what the last thing I pulled off was," and she like looks over at the bathroom door and then looks at you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like, uh, well, I mean, she is in a wheelchair. She's not gonna be that. Okay, yeah, yep, she's not gonna be that fast. We're good. Uh, here, I'll meet you over there in like five seconds. All right. Well, minutes. Let's minutes. Turn your cameras okay. back on. Might have to restart the <laughs> call. Uh, yeah, and then I, I, I basically just say like, "Yeah, I'll meet you in five minutes." Okay. And then where are you gonna go? Uh, I wait for all the drinks. Uh, go drop the drinks off at the, uh, at the table, <laughs> and then uh, as uh, as I drop them off, I, I kind of like walk by Piani and get down on the on wheelchair level, and I'm just like. Uh, Piani, I really, I need this. Don't, uh, don't act out. Just, for fuck's sake, just be cool about it, okay? All right, just, I'll be right back. Uh, just be cool. And I go to, I, I go join Heather in the restroom. Okay. All right, so the two of you just join. Into the washroom. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, Sakarian and, uh, Russian boyfriend are at the table. Mm-hmm. Uh, Piani is at the table with them. There's a whole bunch of like shots. But I see train. them yeah. go to the bathroom, right? You see them disappear. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely be following up on that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And then, uh, yeah, Prosper, you're headed for the ship. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. So, Piani, what do you want to do? Do you want to? So did I know that Prosper was heading for the ship? Like, was I there? Yeah, you I, were there. Yeah, you were there for that. Like, I it's thought, loud and it's loud and stuff. But so we weren't at the bar. And they were no, at the you, table? No, you guys were at the table. That That's what bought Higgs yeah. and Heather the, the minute alone to be like, let's go to the bathroom. God, I really don't want Prosper to talk to Pi alone, but I really <laughs> don't want Higgs to get any either. Oh, <laughs> uh, fuck. It's okay, Come Piani. Between. I'm just going to go go for right. my own private moment. Uh, between it's an okay. AI and a hard it's place. okay. I've got it. So All I'm right. going to walk over to that door. And I'm gonna fucking walk or wheel. I'm gonna wheel over that door, and then I'm gonna like wheel three revolutions backwards. As she gets okay. to the door, I'm already coming outside and be like, "Well, that was quick." <laughs> 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 I'm 
I'm like, oh, I knew you couldn't make it over here fast enough, old faithful. All right, well, Come on. if that's the case, old then I faithful. wheel forward. <laughs> oh no! And I wanna, I wanna confront Heather. Okay. All right. I'm so, totally oblivious to anything going on Higgs, behind me. Yeah, Higgs comes out first, buttoning up his trousers, uh, and then Heather comes out behind him, and sees you, <laughs> and kind of gives you this look like. Uh, what's you happen? fucking bitch! <laughs> right. Did I not just have a conversation with you just about, oh, I don't know, ten minutes ago where I told you what I was going to do if you laid a fucking hand. No, if you laid a thought <laughs> on my husband, what the fuck do you have to say for yourself, girl? In the background, so she, Mr. Sakari puts his arm up and kind of turns around and is like, Oh. So she 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 kind of like shrugs and like gives you the the hand and it's like she's like if you could hold on to your man he wouldn't have been in there with me wheels. Oh shit, dude! Oh, as man. as this is happening, Fuck like it. I'm walking Piani. next to Mister S and I shoot him the finger. No. <laughs> Piani gets out of her wheelchair and she's like, "What did you say to me, you bitch?" <laughs> Uh, I think she she like goes for your hair or something. Yeah. So the 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 uh, interior of the bar quickly becomes a rowdy bar fight. Um, as soon as as soon as any amount of like aggressive behavior happens, I Igor like picks up a chair and throws it at somebody. Oh, hang on. Yeah, you want to. This you wanna moment was it? waiting. I was waiting for okay. this moment. So. All right, all right. So he's like, he sees that they're gonna fight, and he's like, he gets up, like rolls up his sleeves, and then we. He gets leave. that far, and I'm gonna cut his throat. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, and I was waiting for it too. Escalation, Sicarian. Don't do drugs, or I'll kill your ass. Yeah, fight was starting. <laughs> yeah, that's right. It's the new Dara uh, Paul's. <laughs> Yeah, dare to get knifed in the throat. So yeah, I was looking over here, but like under the table, I had my plasma projector ready to go. But instead of using that, just with the confusion knife. starting up, I just kind of pull out my knife, just swipe it across the table at him. Okay, all right, yeah. I mean, you don't you don't have to roll. Like you just just get him and cut his throat, and he falls on the ground. The whole thing turns into a a brawl. Um, okay. So we we fade down on the brawl and and fade up on the swan song. Um, so Prosper, you. You return to the ship, mm -hmm. um, and yeah, Pi opens it up for you. Come on yeah. board. And I just I walk in and I I go back to my own room, and like you know I, you know I I take down and field strip my weapon and just make sure that it's all clean and everything and set it aside, and then I um. So actually, Pi Pi comes on over the speaker, um, and is like, is everyone else dead? Um. And I say, bye. Hang on, I need to I need to figure out what exactly it is <laughs> that I'm looking. I think Steven's mic just went off. Yeah, he muted himself. He's typing. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I say, um, I say, bye. It is very nice to meet you. Do you enjoy music? I do. Are you familiar with uh, the flower duet from Lacme? So, Pi uh, Pi has been I like Teenage Dream by Katy Perry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pi Pi has been seated with a whole bunch of like uh, French like cultural stuff, um, mm -hmm. and you you've been briefed on what the information like data package that Pi has. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if that's in there, sure, should be. Okay. So yeah, um, I start playing. I or I ask her. I ask Pi. You know, would you please play the flower duet from Lacme? Okay. And yeah, you know, so beautiful it music. Play, it starts to play tinnily over the speakers. Yeah, beautiful music starts playing on the okay. on the cabin. In fact, I can even drop this in chat, <laughs> just <laughs> so you guys can go listen to it. And then Mr. Prosper drops his pants, looks into the um, mirror. <laughs> Ties and I say, Pi, no, I'm Nobody has died yet. Everybody will be coming back. It was a very productive visit. 
cross screen to the guy getting his throat slit on yeah. the table. Yeah. Yeah. While the flowers do slow is motion, playing. like Zack Snyder style, yeah. like bar fights, securing throwing people yeah. on the table. Absolutely. Mr. S is just walking out whistling. <laughs> and, yeah. He's outside uh, finishing his drink. <laughs> and I say, L'enfant, my name is Prosper. I'm very interested in entities like yourself. But right now I'm most interested in, in your companions. Can you tell me about Victor Kovacs? Victor Kovacs accessing. He was a man. terrible character who I didn't think do much. <laughs> he was played by a jack. Uh, so I think, yeah, I think that we like, we have this, this like very like placid scene of like Prosper talking to, to Pi and then uh, on one of the monitors kind of in the background, uh, a kind of like highlight reel of like Victor Kovacs footage from the ship starts to play and the camera slowly like pans down and zooms in <laughs> on it. And then we, we like fade to credits there. Black and white of him inside of Mr. Higgins. Smiling. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Slow mo like pulling you together. <laughs> Uh, awesome. Yeah, that's a that's a great ending there. So like just like Victor like pulling the glove on and snapping it for the last time. <laughs> oh my god. All with this music is just perfect. I imagine the throat cut, the like yeah. sit down, yeah. like yeah. It's it's really motion bar fight. Yeah. yeah this motion like horribly bloody like jugular slice bar fight and then snap back to the like, hmm, tell me about Victor Kovacs. <laughs> there you go. Oh my god, so good. There you go. It's very clock punch. It is. Yeah, it is. All right, cool. Well, uh, we'll let you guys know when we're playing again. Let's do some shout outs here, then we'll close out the show. Jeff, shout outs away. Uh, always so fun. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And of course, uh, thank you to my buds for doing this. This is awesome. Um, uh, just, to, just to put it out there in the interwebs, I know a lot of uh, the fans are cross pollinated, but I will not be playing StarCraft 2 or doing any of that kind of stuff until I'm back. And I'll be back home in like January second. So until then, it's solemn and swan song and Christmas. Um, and then, of course, I'll you know follow my Twitter, EG and Control. It's where a lot of uh, my updates go. All of them, pretty much. I, I'm pretty, I'm pretty uh, open about sharing everything that goes on there. And uh, lately, that's Warhammer and movies and friends and family and that kind of stuff. So thanks a lot. Awesome. Stuff. Oh, I love that camera freeze set. That camera freeze is perfect. It froze again? Yeah, yeah oh, it's, it's good. perfect. You were like, it's a good freeze, though. You it's got, great. You got good freeze it's going. great. Uh, Adam, do some shout-outs. Thanks for coming, everybody. Uh, Jeff, thanks for making time on your family vacation to come and play Fortunate. Swan Song with us. It was a good one. I, this might, I think this might be the silliest session so far. I think you're all still infected with maid syndrome, but it was a good one. No, you just uh, let me talk the most, I think. <laughs> and, actually, yeah, this is a very Higgs focused episode. like Higgs focused <laughs> episode. That's all it was. It's nice to know that in the year 3200, the customer service phone trees are still <laughs> so still fucking still horrible. horrible. Yeah. Just uh, totally full of shit. They've perfected like, the irritation factor. Yeah, really. Just so great. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super excited for more episodes. And uh, yeah, thanks for coming. And as usual, if you're one of the rare people that doesn't already know this, the place to follow me is Twitter, at Skinny Ghost. Please do. And because everybody is asking me, yes, I'm doing a GM turn. I forgot to do one last week because I was super busy, but I'm going to do one on uh, Sunday this week. So cool. get the universe caught up with the players. So tune in for that on my uh, Twitch channel, which is just Adam Coble. There you go. Uh, wait, do some shout outs. What's up? Sorry, oh, I, thought I, you, I thought you were counting. frozen and I was just like, no, you Whoa. know, I was I was actually counting the number of of roles that we had uh, today, just because it was it was like a good it was know, very story RP driven focused. show. Yeah, I, this, was, uh, yeah this was a lore episode for yeah. Sure. I I love to do this show, you guys. So thank you to uh, my uh, my co cast and of course Adam for uh, DMing. It's uh, a highlight of my week when it is a weekly thing and we've been doing pretty good lately so let's keep it up yeah. guys happy holidays uh, I have Twitch weekly tomorrow we'll be doing an 8 bits on Sunday we'll be talking about our games of the year and you know we're all fucking crazy when it comes to that so uh, tune in if you want to hear the weird shit that's there it go. that's it last but not least Steven do some shout outs yo uh, so you can follow me on Silent Osiris on Twitch and Twitter um 
Twitter is where you're going to find most information about me these days. We've got a West Marches show coming up uh, on Saturday, right, JP? Yep. Uh, so you can see me there. For those of you in chat who are asking, I am a tenor, and I do <laughs> have a Bachelor of uh, Music. Wow. Is, uh, it's what only I a matter studied of time before we get him to sing in French. Uh, yeah. You know, I very much contemplated having <laughs> Prospero be a guy, or Prosper, rather, being a guy who would sing French ch chansons. But uh, I'm, I'm actually really enjoying where I'm moving with the character. I wasn't, like, I knew sort of the background of the guy, and then I rolled him up in, like, the half hour before the show today, and uh, still trying to figure out, like, what kind of a character he is. But I think well, uh, it's it's been cool. Awesome. Steven, I'll, I'll tell you, I'm I'm uh, an out of practice baritone, and I know all the lyrics to DS Ira. So maybe we should we should talk. There you go. It. Wow. Oh shit. <laughs> we can just do role DS Ira on edition. stream. <laughs> it'll be the yeah no it'll be the role play musical. The musical because musical episode. if Swan you didn't know, I sang Akuna Matata when I was like fucking seven years old in my school choir. So me, I too am on um, the same level as these two. Uh, we can get Shannon in. We've got yep. wheat. Like, you know. Yep. I'm in. Yep. I'm in. Jeff can play the drums. I can absolutely do nothing musically. I can yeah. play a stereo. So <laughs> there you go. That's that's that. that's what works. There you go. <laughs> there you go. I'm that's just thinking about me. a role play musical. Uh Steven, no other shout outs? That is all. All right. Thanks to you guys, everybody. Cool stuff. Uh yeah, I'll do all my shout outs after the show. That's it. I don't have anything to say. We're out. Thanks, everyone, for watching, and uh, we'll let you guys know as soon as possible when we're going to be playing next. Bye-bye. Have a great night. Bye, everybody.